going on guys? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Legends Deadpool Wave, X-Force Deadpool. Here's a look at the back of the box where you can see the Build-A-Figure Sasquatch. You're going to need to collect six figures to get him. Cable, Domino, Paladin, Deadpool, X-23, and Deadshot. So let's take a quick look at his accessories, then we'll take a quick look at Deadpool. So he comes with his two basic swords. Always the same. Always clean. Has the red and black. Then he comes with his ray gun, is what I call it. Magnetic gun, like in Metal Gear Solid 2. Has that nice blue on it. Then he comes with his duck gun, squirt gun, whatever you want to call it. This thing has so much less accessories than the Hascon one. And here's a better look at the Sasquatch figure, which I think looks really clean. The eyes came out really good. So I guess he's going to be plugged in like that. This figure looks really good. If you guys haven't seen the documentary on Netflix about the Sasquatch, please do watch that. That documentary was awesome. Looks really good. Alright, so here's Deadpool out of the packaging, and this will be a really quick review because it's the same thing as the Hascon Deadpool. So the only difference is that I can see is that it has it has a gray a gray wash in the pouches and the holsters for his swords, his belt, and the gun there. Everything else is the same. He has the neck, the uh, neck brace, everything else is exactly the same. Again, in the back, you can see the black wash on the holsters and everything like that. And the articulation is really good, so I'm not going to go over that or anything. And here's Deadpool with all of his accessories in hand, looking pretty cool. The blue on that gun looks really good, pulls the, knife, the swords really well, everything like that. All right, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see that the Hascon Deadpool has so much more than the Deadpool Wave. Um, so one, you can tell that there's more of a blue wash on the Deadpool Wave one. Uh, so I actually think the Hascon one looks better now looking at it. And also the Hascon one is a little bluer, a little grayer bluer than the Hascon one. Um, but the differences are, the ray gun is blue, and the ray gun is red with the Hascon one. Hascon comes with the taco, the extra head, the bazooka, the knife, so much more accessories. So, Hascon's the way to go. And here's a quick size comparison with Deadpool next to the X-Men Deadpool. And he looks about a foot taller than him, so pretty good size comparison. Uh, this new Deadpool is way better than that old Hasbro one. Really like the fact that they put him on the uh, the Bucket Cat mold. So great improvement Hasbro. Wish he came with more accessories, alternate hands, more handguns, some grenades, rocket launcher, stuff like that, but hey at least he's on a Bucket Cat mold. Alright guys, well thanks for watching my review. Uh, we still got a couple of months before these figures are released, so I'm super excited to be able to even review these figures. Again, huge shout out to Mike for letting me uh, review this figure, and I'll catch you guys later. Please leave a like, leave a comment, and let me know what you guys thought.